Hi everyone, welcome to Life Plus Compass. I'm very happy to have you here. Today we are doing a reading for Cancer for the first half of March. We're going to pull several messages and see what comes through, what we need to know, what's happening for you in that period of time. Please do keep in mind that not every message will be for every Cancer. Not every reading will be for every Cancer. And let's go ahead and start. We're going to start today with a Soul Journey lesson card and see what message we have here for you. For the first half of March for Cancer. Let's see. What's the message? What's the message? Message for Cancer. Good. Fear. Okay. We're going to go ahead and clarify later on what is this about. But for now, let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards and see what comes through here. Messages for Cancer, first half of March. Two of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Five of Cups. Seven of Cups, and Two of Cups. Look at all this Cups energy. All right, a lot of emotions going on. Let's go ahead and start clarifying. We're going to start clarifying with this Fear card. Let's see what is this all about for Cancer, first half of March. Fear. Page of Inspiration, Five of Emotions, The Moon, Ten of Materials in Reverse and the Emperor in Reverse. All right, so what do we hear? What do we see here? We see you being very worried about your financial situation here. I feel like uh, you're fearing that uh, your finances will go down. You're fearing that you're a little bit unstable in finances. There is a lot of worries going on about your financial situation, about your family stability here, possibly about your job. I do feel that you're worried that uh, you might, some of you might even fear that you're going to lose your job at this time. Or you could be fearing that there is something going on in the company where you're working that will lead you to lose some finances. This could also be a fear about the uh, banking situation or some sort of government situation that is going on that could also negatively affect your finances. I feel like there is some information that is coming out here, something that's been hidden for a while, something is being revealed. Now, like I said, this could be something that either about the company that you're working for, a corporation or a bank that you where you're keeping your money or the investments, uh, the, the company where you keep your investments in or some sort of government situation here. Some secrets are being revealed here. Something is being hidden here is coming to light and you're a little bit worried about your how it's going to affect your finances. This is what I see here. How it's going to affect your work, how it's going to affect what you do for the job, how it's going to... Um, how it's going to affect your career here this is what you are fearing that's what you're fearing the information that is coming out here is bringing you worries but what i need you to remember is that fear is the the message that comes in with this card it says that i realize that i'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love and this is your advice here do know that fears and worries do not change the outcome the what are you uh, the it's not like the more you worry the better your outcome is going to be no the worries do not change the outcome the fear a lot of times isn't real so you got to remember this and remember that the energy of love is what you need to be in that's what i see strongly cancer here the moon can also be associated with your card so i do feel that you are in the center of this. You are in the center of this. Is that's uh, what's happening here? This uh, um, kind of turbulent energy in this uh, in your finances. So do know that you have power. Do know that you have power to put the fears aside, 
to put the fears aside and to uh, embrace the energy of love and we're not talking about romantic love here we're talking about your state of mind your state your state of being here and the energy that you need to um to exude at that at this time this is what i see be aware of this be aware of this cancer this is something that is important for some of you here let's go ahead and clarify this two of pentacles what is this here about two of pentacles for my cancer two of pentacles four of emotions five of voices muse of inspiration Six of Materials, Knight of Inspiration, and Queen of Voices. A lot of cards coming out here. Again, I do feel like uh, there is this energy of um, being worried, being in your head, being in your head about your finances. You could be a little bit indecisive or uh, indecisive of where to invest your uh, finances. You could be worrying about your, uh, your uh, job stability here. You could be worried about the situation at your work. There could be some arguments going on there. I do feel that there is a little bit of this disbalanced energy in your workspace. Uh, Six of Materials in this particular card is talking about reciprocal energy. What you put in is what you get out. And I do feel that with this Knight of Inspiration and Six of Materials coming together, I do feel that you will have a good balance in your financial situation here. But there is a little bit of turbulence. There is definitely some turbulence going on here. There could be um, an air sign that is very significant here, Cancer, in this situation. This could be a boss. This could be um, an official figure that is kind of making some decisions here. Somebody who's making some decisions here regarding uh, your job or career situation or possibly regarding your finances here. There could be a, a, this person is very fair. This person is very fair. I do feel that they are able to make a just choice here. So um, this is somebody that maybe you can even go for a good advice when it comes to your finances or when it comes to your investments. But you're very much in your head. A lot of worries about your financial situation here. But the Muse of Inspiration is telling me that you will be able to find the right path for you. You will be able to find the right path for you and there will be some celebration here. The Knight of Inspiration brings celebration and brings victory. Look out for an air sign. See if there is anybody there who can give you a good financial advice. All right, Cancer, let's go ahead and um, move on to Page of Cups. Page of Cups for Cancer. Queen of Materials, Four of Voices. Strengths. And the Devil. All right, Page of Cups. Page of Cups is somebody who's in their dreams, somebody who's a little bit aloof, somebody who's not very grounded and i do feel that this could be you at this time cancer this is you kind of flying out there this is you not necessarily believing in your uh, again in your financial situation not trusting your financial situation here it's almost like you're saying that you will uh, um, you will be successful in finances when the pigs will fly and that's not the case here i do feel that you are very strong and you're very determined and you are set for success here especially with the screen of materials upright and the strength card but you need to take some time to rest here with page of cups is also telling me is it's okay to dream it's okay to dream it's okay to connect to your creative side it's okay to take some time for yourself and to rejuvenate this is going to help you to get out of this um, this energy of worries and fear the devil again is talking about the fears this is again talking about you being very fearful about your financial situation somehow. And the advice here is very, very clear. The advice here is to believe in your dreams, to believe in yourself, and to take some time for yourself to rejuvenate. Calm down. That's what I want to say to you, Cancer. Calm down. Calm down your emotions. 
make sure that uh, you make the rational choices here that you, that you are not uh, jumping into this uh, energy of uh, worry too much the devil can be also talking about some manipulation energy here so but what i see is that you are very strong you're not going to um, to let anyone manipulate you here but there are some fears around you there is definitely some fears around you and it's somehow connected to your money situation here take your time for yourself take some time to to restore your energy here interesting with all these cups that were coming out in the first row i thought this would be very much a love reading but so far it hasn't been okay well let's go ahead and clarify this five of cups let's see what is this all about five of cups ace of inspiration okay death in reverse Is this about here for cancer? Five of Cups, Nine of Voices, The Fool, and Eight of Inspiration. Okay, interesting. So, what's going on here? What's going on here? Again, a lot of energy of worries, staying up at night, thinking about things, thinking about uh, uh, your past reminiscing about the spilled cups here what what happened in the past what could you do different i feel like uh, there's a lot of that energy going on a lot of that energy of being awake at night i feel like with this death in reverse there are some un unfinished cycles for you there are some unfinished cycles for you here that are not allowing you to necessarily move forward you got to see what it is for a lot of you, this could be a relationship. This could be a past relationship that is kind of keep you connected to it, but not necessarily offering you what you truly, truly uh, deserve. And I feel like uh, they, they're just uh, keeping you connected. They're kind of keeping you on a short leash here. I do feel that there could be a lot of passion in this connection. There could have been a, a lot of a physical attraction in this connection here, but not necessarily enough to keep this connection going on an emotional level, not necessarily enough of uh, love here. And what I see is that you are seeing new options here, already coming into your energy. On a more traditional Five of Cups, the person is completely turned with their back towards their full cups. On this one, you're not. On this one, you already see some new energy pouring into your vicinity here. I feel like you're already noticing you, uh, this. I feel like there could be an Aries that is coming in towards you and offering you something new. Also, Scorpio is standing out strongly here. But I feel like uh, you are determined. You are determined to go for new here. Be aware that the past is still wants to hold you, hold you back. So be aware of that. And the choice, of course, is yours, but I do see some new options here for you. And I do feel like you are determined to, to go for new here. That's what I see, Cancer. You are determined to take some risk, possibly, to start a new faith in your life when it comes to your emotional love here. But uh, yeah, you're a little bit in your head here, a little bit in your head because the past is still holding on to you. That's what I see. Let's go ahead and clarify the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups, what is this here for? Ooh, Hierophant. Okay, what else, what else, what else, what else? Four of Materials. Five of Inspiration in Reverse. Mm -hmm. Just the top. Okay. Need another one. Seven of Cups. No. This one. Oh, nice. The sun. So what do we have here? We have here a lot of options. We have here a lot of options. We have here you being a little bit indecisive here. You're a little bit uh, unsure what you want to go for. You're a little bit defensive. You're a little bit defensive here. 
there could have been uh, this situation uh, um, that you've been going through where um, in your previous connection that we're talking about your romantic love here um, maybe there was a situation here where people were blaming each other for what happened why the relationship didn't go very well there could have been some uh, some uh, fake people in your past that you had to deal with and it made you quite defensive it made you quite defensive it made you quite unsure you're a little bit unsure to make that step you may, you're a little bit unsure uh, you're a little bit fearful of making the wrong choice here I do feel that you are looking for a long-term relationship. You're looking for a partner that you can build a family with. You're looking for a partner that you can um, have marriage with, a beautiful family together, a long-term relationship. That's what you're looking for. And I do feel that uh, um, you are a little bit unsure who is the one for you. We've seen that there's new options coming into you. And if you remember on this card, there's two cups. So there could be more than one option for you for sure. But the seven of cups, I do feel that there's a lot of people that are interested in you. But you're not trusting them very much. You're not trusting them. You're a little bit defensive. What it says here is that it's in your hands. The choice is yours. You have seven of inspiration. It's up to you to get yourself out of this defensive state. It's up to you to open yourself up to this beautiful, beautiful horizons here and to bring sun into your life. Sun is a total happiness. Sun is the happiest card you can get in the deck. This is absolute happiness. And this is what's in your future. Make a choice, make a choice. Let go of fear, let go of your fears. We've seen some fears going on here with your financial situation. And I do feel that there's a little bit of fear going on in your romantic love life as well you're a little bit defensive here so it's time it's time to open up yourself to this beautiful colorful future and to make a choice that's going to bring you this happiness here connect to your intuition meditate on it make a decision all right cancel let's go ahead and clarify this two of cups i'd love to see what is this about two of cups of oh, cancer page of materials Ooh, lovers two of cups and lovers we're talking about divine union here cancer no okay okay wow this is beautiful <laughs> this is absolutely beautiful Cancer, the justice is being served here. The justice is definitely being served. You are connecting in divine union with somebody. You are coming into this beautiful, beautiful energy of lovers, two of cups. This is two people coming together in divine union. And I do feel that uh, towards the middle of the March, you will make an option that is um, make the choice that is a right, right option for you. A just choice. The justice will be served here. I do feel like this person will be uh, quite spiritual as well. I do feel like this person could be quite spiritual. Uh, this could be somebody of an earth energy, page of materials and earth energy. Very, very, very strong energy of a Virgo. You could definitely be connecting to a Virgo. But with so many uh, major arcanas, there's a lot of signs that come through. This could be a Libra as well. This could be a Gemini. But what's most important is it is a divine union. You're making a choice. Justice, you're making the right judgment here. You're, you're choosing the right person for yourself. And you're coming in into a beautiful, divine, long-term union here. This is what I see. If Even if it is a Gemini or Libra, I do feel that they have a lot of earth in them. Virgo is standing out very, very, very strongly here. But this is absolutely beautiful. This is... Uh, <laughs> the lovers is definitely... A divine Union card in Major Arcana and Two of Cups is a Divine Union card in the Minor Arcana. And this is what you pulled here. That's really, really beautiful. Amazing energy in your romantic love life. I love that. Okay, Cancer. Let's go ahead and pull your Coffee Cup Oracle cards. Let's see what other messages we need to see. What else we need to know for the first half of March for Cancer. What else we need to know? Look at that! We have engagement and wife. And 
Beauty and Protection. <laughs> okay, stability and growth and direction and journey. beautiful okay all right so yes a lot of you are definitely finding your counterpart a lot of you are finally making a choice and uh finding your counterpart taking you uh, uh, finding somebody for a long-term relationship and uh, um, advancing if you are in a partnership here if you are in this beautiful union already you could be taking your um your union to a new level of commitment either that is engagement or marriage whatever that is for you depending what state you are in do be aware of this energy of a, maybe a female energy around you that are a little bit uh, envy of you, a little bit envy of you here. But do know that you are very much protected. You are very much protected, so you have nothing to fear. Do not fear. You are protected. And I do see you taking a new journey towards your stability and growth. So we've seen a lot of fears regarding your financial situation here. This is a reassurance for you that stability and growth is in your future. It might be a long journey, it might take a little while here, but this is the journey that you're on. You are on the journey to your stability. That's what I see, and growth. Okay, Cancer, what an interesting reading. Let's go ahead and pull an energy oracle card. Let's see what energy you should be aware of the most during this period of time. Maybe this is somehow connected with some of the messages we've got here. Oh, it could be completely different, but whatever we need to see. That's what's going to come out. I will also read out the affirmation that comes with that energy. First half of March for Cancer. Let's see. That's it. Okay, let's have a look. Walking away. Okay, you are walking away from something. Interesting energy here. Let's see what we're walking away from. I want to pull one more card to clarify. You are leaving something behind. You're walking away. I do hope you're walking away from this fear. Let me see what else we have here for Cancer. Six chakra archangel metatron what i see here is that it is time to walk away from some fears it is time to walk away from the fears that surrounding you here it is time to rejuvenate to take that time for yourself we've seen it here before take some time for yourself and open up your vision open up your vision here look at what your true desires are open up your vision let go of fears. Walk away from your state of mind when you are in the worrisome. Open, open here your third eye. Open your third eye. Connect to your intuition more. And let in this beautiful future that is here for you into your reality. Walking away. Let me read out the affirmation that comes with it. This is you moving on. This is you moving on to this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful union here. <laughs> okay, let's see. It is safe and comfortable for me to move on. I consider all my options and I take action to, on my own behalf. That's absolutely beautiful. It is safe for you. Do not fear to move on. Do not fear to make a choice. It's time. It is time to make a choice. And uh, with the Archangel Methatron, you will have a lot of protection and a lot of guidance to make the right choice. This is the clarity of your thoughts. This is what's going to bring you clarity to make the right choice and allow you to let go of fears and to move on. My sixth chakra is open to its perfect healthy state. My personal vision guide guides me and my thoughts are peaceful and clear isn't that what we've been talking about you gotta clear your thoughts you gotta take some time to rejuvenate clear your thoughts of any fears and wor or worrisome here and make a choice to move on 
Beautiful Kenta, I truly hope this uh, reading was helpful to you. And if it was, please like the video and also subscribe to the channel if you feel like doing so. If you feel comfortable, please comment on the reading. I would love to hear from you and read your comments. And thank you for being here. Bye for now.